Quarter 2, Lesson 9, Solving Radical Equations by Sir Axilang. Steps in Solving Radical Equation First, write the equation such that radical containing the unknown variables on the left side of the equation. Second, combine similar terms. Third, raise both sides of the equation to a power same as the index of the radical. The equation should be free of radical to complete the solution. And last, number four, check if the value or values obtained will make the original equation true. Now, let's have illustrative examples. Example number one, solve square root of x equals 7. So from our steps in solving radical equation, for our step one, we are going to write the given in such a way that the radical is on the left side of the equation and the, bar, uh, the numerical value so on the right side of the equation. Since our given follows that rule or that pattern, so we will just rewrite, rewrite square root of x equals 7. Then for our step 2, we are going to combine similar terms. So we don't have similar terms because each side of the equation has only one term. So let's proceed to step number 3. So for step number 3, we are going to raise both sides of the equation to a power same as the index of the radical. So, if we will have square root of x equals 7, so we are going to raise both sides by a power similar to our index of the radical. So, our index of the radical here is 2. So, we are going to raise it both sides by squared or by 2. Okay, then we are going to uh, transform this into exponential form. So this will become x raised to 1 half raised to 2 equals 7 times 7 is 49. Okay, then so we are going to apply power of a power. So this will become x raised to 1 times 2 is 2 over 2 which is equal to 49 then 2 over 2 is 1 so therefore x is equal to 49 so our solution is x is equal to 49 then for our step number 4 so for our step 4 we are going to check if our solution is correct so using our given equation, so we have square root of x equals 7. So since our x is equal to 49, so we will have square root of 49 is equal to 7. So let's have this. So square root of 49 is 7 equals 7. Example number 2. Solve. Cube root of x minus 6 is equal to 3. So, in this example, so our radicand is a binomial. So, th this is okay. So, this is considered as one term. And the right side is 3. Also considered as a right, right term. So, for our step 1, we're going to rewrite. Okay. So, since this is a radical in one term, one term radical, uh, and another for this one so this is written in such a way that the radicals in the left side of the equation so cube root of x minus 6 is equal to 3 so we don't have a term to be combined so let's proceed to step 3 so for our step 3 we are going to raise both sides of the equation by a power similar to the index of the radical. The index of radical here is 3. 
So we are going to raise both sides by 3. Raise both sides by 3. Okay? Then, in our previous example, we rewrite this in exponential form. But in this case, let us cancel the cube root and the 3. So, that's another way of solving it. Then, the remaining is x minus 6 is equal to what is 3 cubed. So, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3, 27. Okay? Then, by addition property of equality, so we will have x minus 6 plus 6 to isolate x is equal to 27 plus 6. Okay? The negative 6 plus 6 is cancelled. So that is x is equal to 27 plus 6, that is 33. So our x is 33. Okay, then for our step number 4, we are going to check, okay, our answer. If our answer is correct, so we will have cube root of x minus 6 is equal to 3. So, we'll have x is equal to 33. So, we'll have cube root of 33 minus 6 is equal to 3. 33 minus 6, that is cube root of 27 is equal to 3. Cube root of 27, that is 3 is equal to 3. Example number 3. So, for plus square root of x minus 2 is equal to x. So, step number 1, we are going to isolate the radical in the left side of the equation and we are going to put 4 to the right side of the equation. So, what will be? We will going to apply the addition property of equality. So, that will become 4 minus 4 plus square root of 2, square root of x, I mean, square root of x minus 2 is equal to x minus 4. Okay? Then, 4 minus 4, that is 0, so that will become square root of x minus 2 is equal to x minus 4. Okay, so that is our uh, equation. Then, Step number two, we don't have similar term to combine. Then let's proceed to step number three. In step number three, we are going to raise our left side and right side of the exponent by the index. Same index of the radical. So that is the square root of x minus 2 is equal to x minus 4. So let us raise this by the exponent similar to our index, which is 2. Okay, so that will become, uh, we can cancel the square root and 2. So the remaining here is x minus 2 is equal to x minus 4 quantity squared. Then we can have this using FOIL method. So that will become x minus 2 is equal to, so we have two factors of x minus 4. x minus 4. So we will have x minus 2 is equal to x times x, that is x squared. So x minus 4 is negative 4x. Negative minus 4, negative 4 times x, that is negative 4x. The negative 4 times negative 4, that is positive 16. So we will have x minus 2 is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16. Then solving this equation, so, using addition property of equality, so we will have x minus x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to x squared minus 8x minus x plus 16 plus 2. Then, we can cancel... So we have 0 is equal to x squared 
So this one, similar term, that is negative 9x plus we have 16 plus 2, that is 18. Then as you can see, the, re the resulting equation is quadratic equation. So we can solve this using uh, factoring. So we will have 0 is equal to, we can factor. So we have x and x. So since it's negative and positive, so both factors are negative. So we have 6 and 3. Okay, so 0 is equal to the quantity of x minus 3 and x minus 2. Then solving for x, so we'll have x minus 6 is equal to 0 or using 0 product property. x minus 3 is equal to 0. So our x sub 1 is equal to 6 and our x sub 2 is equal to 3. So in this case, we have two solutions, x sub 1 is 6 and x sub 2 is 3. So let's proceed to our checking. So if x is equal to 6, so we will have 4 plus square root of x minus 2 is equal to x. So since our x is 6, so we have 4 plus square root of 6 minus 2 is equal to 6. Then we have 4 plus... 6 minus 2 is 4, equal to 6. Then 4 plus square root of 4 is 2, is equal to 6. 4 plus 2, 6 equals 6. Then for the other one, if our x is 3. So if our x is 3, so we'll have... If our x is 3... So, we will have 4 plus square root of x minus 2 equals x. So, 4 plus square root of 3 minus 2 is equal to 3. So, we have 4 plus square root of 3 minus 2 is 1 is equal to 3. So, we have 4 plus square root of 1 is 1, which is equal to 3. So we have 4 plus 3, or 4 plus 1 is 5, and that is not equal to 3. So therefore, our solution here is 6 only. So our solution is x equal 6. Then yung x is equal to 3 is an extraneous solution Thank you for watching Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe